Welcome to the final event of the year and you're not going to believe it guys because it's super sunny. You're going to think it's Hot. June but it's not. We are in September and this is a bit different because we're starting this the day before but we're at the venue so you can see very in the distance. M from EMD Eventing is here competing. She's doing a regional final. Good luck M. Um, in the 90, obviously that is qualification. And of course I've not put pressure on her. I've tried to keep very, very quiet, but oh my God, I'm keeping everything crossed that she qualifies because I'm just praying for a fun, fun batters trip next year. It was so sad when Tina couldn't make it. So yeah, we've come to support and film and also walk my course for tomorrow. So I'm doing the 100 qualifier. Actually feeling quite good about it. Thought I was gonna be pooping my pants, but I've been working really hard on trying to not over dramatize things. So yeah, I'm genuinely really, really looking forward to it. It's a bit unfortunate that it's so hot. Just gonna look at the food. <laughs> classic anyway um emily musto there's too many emily's here um is very kindly gonna walk my course with me now because she's here competing as well did i mention we're at beautiful shillington it is so gorgeous here i've got the there we go the great big house over there it's one of my favorite events and it's only about an hour and a bit away for us but i don't think this hat suits me it's giving me like bacon boy vibes Here she is! Course Hello. walk time. Ground's incredible as well. Like, well done. Very spongy. We'll be pinging over all these fences. Yep, absolutely. Right, number one, pretty, very straightforward. Don't fall over in the dip. Don't fall in the dip. And then on to number two. I'm down. Yeah. I'll tell you fine here. It's a roll top. It's got all that stuff in front of it, which is going to back her off. Uh -huh. So it's just keep your momentum up. Just come sit down here. All right, got to go back to walking pony strides, haven't I? How do you, Rude. What's the point? How do you walk that? Do you walk from there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go around. Yeah. slightly on the angle can you see that How yeah ours are a bit more kind of like straight up to you yours is very angled this is so because of this the way they've trimmed this tree guys <laughs> so just to no nope. yeah i jumped across here okay you've got a nice ground line okay that bit doesn't look friendly but you've got a nice ground line yeah um, almost look for the end of the tree uh, okay yeah? okay Nothing really big a deal about that. No. Nope. Um, just be looking at where you're going here. Don't jump this and head off that you're going up the hill a little bit. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then you know how it's Britney when you came to the corner combination near the end and I said to you use that fence previous just to shut her off. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, we're listening now. This will probably be use that, that for a bit. Okay. That looks like quite a sharpish angle up there. Okay. So yeah. Got those two arcs. So I perhaps just use this just to be like, wait. Come on, listen. Coming. Okay, You know, cool. sail on over those ones. You've got the nice double, sail on through that, and then come around that turn and off that turn, just go, right, well, we've got a bit of something coming. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good, good tip. Slightly left of centre here, I'd say. This area. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then just be looking. This is a key here. The minute you're, I always tell you don't look down to see strides. Yeah. So if you're not looking down to see strides, the minute you're straight to this, look for the next down, one. Okay. You need to. That would stop you from looking down to see the stride. Yeah. Okay. Nice friendly profile on them. A lovely big, you know, roll tops. Friendly enough. So as soon as you've got straight to this, you'd be looking over there. Uh -huh. you be looking down at this one. Okay. Yeah. Decent height. This. Not gonna lie. It's quite wide. Right. I'm gonna walk this, guys. So we've decided we need to jump this a little bit angular, not crazy, but kind of like there. Yeah, so only 24, so that's five in there you're gonna get. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Just respect, like don't come in pulling. Yeah. But just respect that. Make okay. sure she's, I mean, you, lovely thing is, you just jump, that you're gonna steady up a little bit for, then you're jumping that combination, which will slow you up a bit. Then you're jumping there. Possibly um, a tad looky, would you say, or? Uh, 
I think I'll be all right. Really. I'll grant you that. I'm not gonna. She said, "That's a fair question, yeah, guys." For and once, then... I'm actually agreeing with you. Before that, she said, "Jesus, Murphy." <laughs> Oh my god. Right, yeah, blind. so what you can't see here yeah, is a second corner. And Emma, it's, it's B, I can't even circle. No, okay, so. Oh my god. So panic. You're not blind, she's blind. Yeah. Okay, so what the most important thing for you to be doing is as you come off that turn, the minute you're on your line here, straight away, left hand open and you'd be thinking about B and your whole body be looking that way. Open your shoulder, uh -huh. make sure she knows before she even takes off over this, I'm turning left after this. Okay. So coming into this going, just be straight, just be straight, because then she's just going to keep going. And get her, you get her quite her back. Make, I know you're blind, but we're going left after this. Yeah? That's what the most important It's hard, because it's like, it's a big fence to just pop. It's not that big. It's no bigger than those oxes you had in school the other day. It's just because it's solid. Okay. Okay? That's the way you got to think of it. That's just one of those oxes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. So you want to come into this. You want to be sort of three strides out. You'll know what stride you're on. Yeah. So then a minute you've done that, you want to be going right, left, and you want to be looking at the base of that But fence. assuming I want to really try and avoid getting a flyer at this. Yes, I mean, ideally. Yeah. Yes, but if you I'm... do, you need to, you know how I'm telling you your shoulders on Winnie? Yeah. You want to be thinking about that. So right? say <laughs> worst comes to absolute worst, I would oh, have to have, turn and like hard her, right yeah, it. you on her head, because you left the knee and you both just gone, ooh, I'm falling in. Yeah. Then, yes, you want to do yeah. that hard right as quick as you can. Fast there. You come back this way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not aiming for that. Okay. That is not how you're going to jump this. You want to go to badminton next year in 100? Yeah, no, that's true. That is true. So, am I about right? No, let's just film this walking, then I'm going to walk it. Jeez, and they're both like, they're chunky and narrow. Oh, that one's bigger. Okay, I think you're gonna get four in there. I, I think a big horse would probably even come around on three. Yeah. And you're gonna get four, okay? Just relax, okay? It is, it's novice technicality, but it's not novice height, okay? Mm -hmm. Please trust me when I say your pony can jump there. Yeah. Okay? You, and I suppose to be fair, that's got a lovely she doesn't line. really know it's a corner, no, does no, she? Like it's a table. And if they hadn't put that there, I would have been like, oh god, what's holding you off that? Yeah, that's holding you a mile off. And the blue, yeah, here as well, all holding you away from it. So you're not going to come in here and get some hideous like leave and e stride. Yeah, really. yeah. Your pony really don't see it. But you just, it's just, it's just. This is good practice. You know, no, you're right. It is. It's novice technicality, this is. Easily novice technicality. Mm -hmm. But it's not that difficult. You've jumped a lot worse mm -hmm. in training. So put that training into practice. No point in coming training if you're not going to do anything that's going to put it into practice. Yeah. Good bit of mess up room there. <laughs> We've got a nice let up fence, guys. A reward for those horrible corners. Yeah. Lovely corners, I mean, that we are more yeah, than capable of doing. Corners that we're going to be really, really happy. We're going to be fine at. And that's novice technicality for 100 height. Yep. Exciting. Yep. She it's can, wonderful. yeah, she can pop over that. She's so bouncy. Exactly. <laughs> she could, she could that, trot yeah. jump that if she had I to. I reckon that'll ride quite fun on something like her because she'll shorten herself up for that log nicely. Yeah. That looks like a proper fence. You're all right with that. Oh yeah. Okay. So jump the step straight. Da -da -da. One, two. Yeah, and then she, it's just like a little pop out yeah, there, isn't it? I don't it? want you thinking, of, oh, I've got to do a little bit of a turn, I've got to angle the step. No, 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 no. She is coming from that mushroom up the step here, and by the time you've even got anywhere near this step, she will have locked that straight yeah. away. Yeah. Okay? okay. You're going to have your whip in your right hand, anyways. She's not going to run left on you. She'll go right, she's going to go right. Yeah. If she's going to go anywhere, she's going to go right. Yeah. So, oh, and they've, they have labelled it. that corner, I think this will be fair. Yeah. <laughs> it is 13 and 14, isn't it? Although. Yeah. So that's hellish to try and get back in here. You're going to get near it, to be honest. That's the thing. I don't that's think so true. That. It's like how... They kind of teased you a bit there. Yeah. Don't they? <laughs> I mean, Naughty. Yeah. If you can find a way back to that without leaving a knee, well done. <laughs> cool. Tending. Yep, so we can oh, canter at that. Yeah. Don't waste that. Got a little turn to it. As well. Cool. This is tough. 
God, that's narrow for 100. I'm about where you want to be, okay? Okay. I'm going to shift out the way. You see, you lined up there. Yep. So you don't yeah, although there's such anything. a dip that you can't actually yeah, you see can't the second see one, can you? You just want to look at the flags. Yeah. When you're coming into this, the only thing I want you to be looking at is the top of those flags on the second fence. Oh because okay. that will keep your eyes up. Okay. I do not want you looking down. Because if you look down, my favourite saying is, just to scare everyone, if you look down, that's where you'll end up. Yeah. Right? Dude. Actually, not that much of a drop on landing. No, no, you're right. Actually, uh, coming in. You know, you should land probably about here. Yeah. yeah. And then we make it to, to be. Like a drop. Okay. Jump like a drop. That is big. It's not like you can't slip your reins because you're already in line for that. Yeah. If, you, if that was a turn, you'd have to be slip your reins and really quickly get them back. Uh -huh. It's not. It's a straight line. So if yeah. You do a slightly long rein. You do the old Mary King technique. You get your elbows back and you have a contact. But don't worry about what the rein length you're on. Just get your elbows back so you have a contact. And just, and just steer her. That. That's uh -huh. a yeah. That's no, that's that's, that's true. We can get out of that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like I can, I can trot rain. that if I'm, yeah. if I'm still scared. I honestly, wouldn't be that worried about that. I think that would jump a lot nicer than thinking. You're, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's, it's a brush Just at the end of the day. So literally, all you've got to do with that is keep your shoulders up. Yeah, that's the thing. If it was like, if it was two of those width wise, we wouldn't be that worried about it. Yeah, and she's, yeah, yeah. she's pretty genuine with narrow at fences. The end of the day, so I think you jumped a narrow brush on that the other day on Winnie. Yeah. A tiny bit smaller, but yeah, not but a lot it was smaller. Still winning. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like that's where you've got to think about it. Yeah. So just get straight to it and then look up to these flags. Yep. And you'll get then that'll help you get to here and it'll keep your shoulders up. I like this one. So hopefully I don't have to explain that. No, she's nice. After all that. I know it's all the funny thing on the side of it, which is right like a table. Yeah, yeah. Ignore it. As well, don't jump out straight so she's gonna jump straight into that post. Cool, jump okay, here. Yeah. yeah, good shout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Aim for your little Simon the snail. Simon, new Simon. Simon's here in spirit. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, no my angel. You will be fine. Yeah. So you got like a little field of intensity where you just want to make sure she's listening. Coming to those corners, you're a seeing eye dog. Yeah. Telling her she's turning left. Water, just stay on that line. It's a straight line. Yeah. Ignore the step, just ride for the log. Um, and your big brush, eyes up, look at the fence. Eyes up, shoulders up. Yeah, just look up. Ignore it. Brilliant. Other than that, I think you're fine. Thank you so much. Good luck. Go get it. Right, course all walked. She big, she definitely a championship course, not gonna lie. Bigger than I was expecting and more technical than I was expecting. But as Emily says, if we can't get around this or if I don't feel comfortable with this or confident, whatever, whatever, um, then going to badminton at 100 next year isn't the right move. So it's a very good qualifying track. But obviously see how it goes. If we sail around clear, then yeah, I reckon we could go take on batters. Um, obviously we have to actually qualify to do that as well um, but yeah equally if we have a little glance off or something it's so dark I need to be walking backwards don't I um, then that's fine we've just got stuff to work on over the winter so that's how I'm trying to look at it I'm gonna go out ride positive but ride safely not like not like playing it safe but like ride safely I feel like those are two different things anyway I'm gonna go and get a crepe Pizza, pizza eats by himself because he went and got a burger. So we will see you guys tomorrow for event day. Day two with a horse this time, guys. Good girl. This is how you run. Not impressed with the uh, prospect of a second bar. All right. <laughs> you outing me for my really messy tack locker. I was just getting B-roll, but oh, yeah. Oh, you did the B-roll. Yeah, I have already fly sprays there today. Okay, fly spray the place. Go. I can't find the studs I want. I think they're falling out. Oh, 
Poo. My magnetic bowl not doing its job. Was that bowl magnetic? Huh? Was that bowl magnetic? Yeah, yeah, that's the whole point. They're meant to like stick in there. Mm. So I wonder why you had it all open all this time. Yeah. I've either left them at Frickley or they've fallen out or what, but my OGs aren't in there. This one's a monkey on the Oh god. Hmm. By this point, dressage was fast approaching, so it was time to channel my inner Bear grills and improvise, adapt, and overcome. I basically just put the slightly rounder studs in, it was fine. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm not very chatty. Feeling quite nervous. Not actually like, not as, not as crippling nerves as I've had before, but definitely a bit nervous moving to cross country, obviously. Anyway, I had brekkie this morning, but we've got really late time, so my dressage isn't until, chocolate that'll do, um, five past three. And then to be fair, the times are really quick, like it zooms past. So yeah, I had my shreddies this morning. Aldi zone of. And now I'm going to get changed and have Y food to keep me going and try and aim to have half of this before dress out. I've got that very like bubbly, sicky, nervousy feeling. But I'm trying to do all of my exercises, trying to like do the like the tensing and relaxing, do some breathing. Yeah, it's just trying to keep on top of it. Oh, why am I so dark? Anyway, if you are like me and struggle to eat or if you are just constantly on the go and you're naughty and you skip meals, why food is definitely for you because this is a meal in a bottle, 26 vitamins and minerals. You guys, you've heard it all before, but they are honestly really good. Everyone that I've spoken to that's ended up using my code, which is elphic-youtube. Yes, I think that's right. I'm gonna pop up on the screen. They always send me really lovely messages saying how much it has changed their life. So it's worth a shot. Get yourself 10% off with the discount code. If it helps you, amazing. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, you'll have to find someone else to drink them. Just like that, we are ready. However, can you see that stain on my stock? I'm 90% sure that that is jammy slobber because she is just the slobberiest thing to ever live. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Anyway, here's to hoping that it's frickly slobber and it's good luck slobber. All right, number on. My Aztec diamond jacket on, of course. Last little thing. Guys, these are life-changing to make your take your hair to the next level when you're eventing. Obviously, you have to put it in the little like normal hair net, and then I have, I don't know if you can see this, that little like a hay net. And then this whoop, just gives you that cute little, I don't know if you can actually see any of that, but just a little je ne sais quoi. Right, I've clipped that. Come on, engage brain. I am going to put my boots on, get tacked up, and then We'll go. Don't expect any tacking up footage because Pete has gone off to feel so cool. So that'll be cute footage. Um, so yeah, we'll free catch up in the dressage. Yeah. <laughs> um. I mean, that was a bit naughty. That was a bit naughty. Good girl. Your mum's getting food, by the way. Okay. Want a proof of bacon roll? No, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm zoomed in quite a lot here. <laughs> Gotta get that bacon. Mm. Good girl. No, she feels really good. So if we can replicate how she feels in there. Good. Happy days. It feels nice and calm over here. At yeah. I'm going to stand here and assess the situation a bit. Lots of arenas, see your arena. Arena. Yeah. Which one are you in? This one here. Okay. Here she comes. She's busy. Oh, you're such a jammy, apparently. Oh, whoop, she says they definitely pretty scary. Sorry, hopefully got that on camera. She says we put all the clouds there. Not a big fan, actually. <laughs> I think I'm... Um, do 
and he's feeling the, the atmosphere. It's all quite exciting. Because at Frickley it was really nice because we had travelled up the day before. So she'd had 24 hours to sort of settle um, and absorb it all because there's another lovely big exciting event there. But I think um, having staying overnight the night before, having that time just to sort of settle was really helpful. Anyway, it is what it is. The lovely, lovely Chillington Hall isn't too far from us, so we've travelled up this morning. Well, this afternoon, actually. Um, but it means Jamie, she's only been off the lorry for an hour and a half, and well, she's not come down to South Jerry until now. Okay, looks like they're off. So I'm at a bit of a funny angle, the way it's roped. I'm not sort of not exactly square to it, so it might look a bit odd, guys. But we've got another lovely long arena. Um, I believe I have a longer lens on, but I don't actually know what to do with it, so this is the best we're going to get. At least it is a long arena and Jenny's got plenty of space in there. Hopefully she'll settle and remember what she's here to do. It's quite close to the showdown. The showdown is just behind the blue tent up there. So we can hear um, Russell and the horses hoofs jumping. I don't know whether that's that upset, unsettling her a little bit. I don't know whether she's just feeling a little bit excited because it's a big venue. What's going on? Hard to know also what to do in this weather because it's been, been exceptionally hot here in the UK for the last week or so. So it's been really tricky to do too much with her. Um, and then today the temperature has dropped, thank goodness. And we've even had some rain. Um, but it's still very muggy. And you just don't know how they're going to come out. You know, I think she is feeling quite hot. And she's obviously had a week of not doing terribly much, so she's probably feeling a little bit full of herself. But she seems reasonably settled in there. Perhaps not concentrating on Meg 100%. Maybe being a bit distracted by thing that's going on. She, as luck would have it, they have actually just stopped jumping for a few minutes in order to have a course walk. I was hoping Meg might make that. But I'm sure she's not going to make the course walk. But it does mean we haven't got poles falling down and horses cantering around. So I haven't actually looked at this test, but I think they have to do a little bit of medium trot, possibly. We're doing the little teardrop thing where you come to back to the track. It's quite tricky because that ends up being like a I don't know, 12 metre circle that you have to canter around up here at the, to this end. Um, I was a little bit worried that the grass, a little bit of rain we had might make things slippery. But the ground is incredible here. Very, very lucky. Oh, 
Did I miss the needle drop? Sorry guys, I have obviously not been paying attention. That seemed to go very quickly. Yeah, probably not the best um, viewpoint from here either guys, I'm sorry about that. But Pete is up at the other end. Okay. So uh, he might not see any of this. I just see Pete's. <laughs> when I was doing that thing. Are you, are you smiling? Well, she was just so different how she normally is. She normally goes off my leg in the dressage and I, li I couldn't touch her. She just felt like she wanted to canter and go the whole time. Oh. And the issue with that is I have to stop her from hitting yeah. off with me, which means her neck comes back a lot. Yeah. And I couldn't obviously bend around my leg, so. It's a shame, because when I watched her warm up, I thought she oh, was going quite you know, nicely. She was warming up so nicely. Yeah. And then she was really silly with spooking at those. I, I saw that. Yes, she just, she just suddenly got really wound up. Like even out here, something upset her. Yeah, I think she's just quite excited. They were um, doing a course walk. I was going to say I'll take her, but there's um, no point. No, we've not got enough time. How did it look? I thought it looked all right, given that she was a bit yeah. hot. Um, it seemed to go really quickly. Yeah, <laughs> she was going through it fast. Oh, right. I was like, have we missed a bit out? Yeah. Um, no, well, I think we'll just have to see. I mean, they might be wanting a more active test, but yeah. normally where she gets her marks is being obedient and, and obedient. she was not those things. No, but it wasn't terrible. No, 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 no. God, no. It definitely wasn't terrible. And right, she, it's recording now. Pete, I think I might have forgotten to press record the first time. I'll talk Wait, to what, as in while we're doing dressage? Maybe. I don't know. I got panic. <laughs> I've got, I've got clips. Okay, we have a bit of a glitch there, guys. Right, okay. So Are we recording now? We think so. I think, I think so, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it says red. Yeah. It doesn't say red, so it's recording. Okay, so who wants to be the first? Meg, you always go last, so you go first this yeah, time. Yeah, Meg, go on. Okay. okay. <laughs> it's really hard, because I think if the judge is wanting more active tests, then we might be all right, but I think she's going to look a bit tense, not very supple, and possibly a bit short-necked. So... I'm not convinced it's a sub 30. I think maybe like a 30.5 perhaps. Okay, all you've got was be. Okay, 30.5 from Meg. Peter. Uh, I'm going to go 28.5. 28.5. Okay, I'm going to go 29.5. Oh, okay, guys. Ah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Keep everything crossed. Cross it. Don't yes. know how the section's doing, to be fair. No, we have so. not. Yeah, None of us have cool. looked. Let's hope that Pete's right. Or yeah. closest. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Pete, you win. Spatter of penalties, that's not what we want to hear. You know what, Danny? We don't do it, it's fine, we'll just have to bad me to the night. Three from the end. We can do that, Danny, can't we? Right, gloves, and then jump in. Right, Jamili, let's do this. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oh, oh. 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 So she was fighting a bit into that one. Good girl. She was really rideable in the warm up. We don't want her getting strong now. Oh, I think she tapped that button. Oh, wait, wait. I'm not sure, guys. Good girl, Maggie. Close to that, got away with it. Oh, lovely clear round. Little bit of a wing and a prayer. What do we think of that, girls? Very good. Yeah. Oh, my heart was in my mouth. Was yours? Yeah. <laughs> Little bit scary at times, but I held it together. They yeah. did a really good job, didn't they? Yeah. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Yeah. Hi. I don't know if you're in focus or anything there. <laughs> hey, well done. Got to love a bit of show jumping luck. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely, but you both did brilliant. No, I was actually really pleased how she jumped, and the one she rubbed. I don't really know why she touched it, and then this one I was like, oh, that's coming down. But then she managed to get clever, Tony, so. isn't she? She's very clever. Well done, sweetheart. Well, oh, very Ooh. happy. Very happy. I'm actually really, really pleased with how she jumped, and it felt majority of it. I'm actually really pleased with how I rode. Yep, I thought you rode really well. Yeah, you obviously rubbed that second part of the first double, which I, I, I need to watch the video to see why that happened because I thought we were on. I think maybe because she looked at the the bricky thing underneath the first one, perhaps we were just a little bit off. Right. Um, but we made the strides in both our doubles. You did. You made them beautifully. Yeah. Emily would be proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> I think we added in some of the related, but no, I'm absolutely chuffed. It was a big course that was definitely full up, yeah, and um, long as yep. well. I thought felt like a BSJA course rather than a BE course. Uh, so no, really, really pleased, and yeah. really only massively hooked to that number nine. 
I thought you did well because she got a little bit strong into three, didn't she? Yeah. A little bit fighty and I thought, oh gosh. Here we but go. No, I'm actually, she felt really, really good. She's, she was good. Because I, wor I was worried she was a bit asleep in the warm up, but she always comes to life, doesn't she? Yeah, it is very muggy. It is. But we're going to give her a rest now and we'll sponge yep. her off. Then head down to Let the have country. a break. Sweaty. Right. I'm going to have a little chill. Yep, you have a chill and pass me some scissors so I can make Oh, yeah, take her flats out. Flats. Oh, God, she's like wet, jammy, sweaty neck. Well, you should get to change it now, don't you? Yeah. So much better when it's overcast. It was so hot. Didn't yeah, it's still like muggy. It's it? very muggy, but it was worse when it's, it was sunny. Yeah, hundred percent. Good girl. We want a dressage reveal. Oh yes, please. I'm afraid I am the winner. Very, very close. I already know it. Oh. Um, thirty point six. Oh, which I think is a fair mark for yeah, what we what we had. I think and none of us were miles off. No, I think had Jamie have been her normal chilled self, we probably could yeah. have edged it below thirty. Yeah, but no, I think that's pretty good. And she's yeah, it's not not that's awful not section by any means. Hundred tests, is it? No, no, especially for like a championship yeah, test. Yeah, exactly. So yes. But cross country is proving to be very, very influential. Yeah, so. oh, and I think the show jumping is definitely not a dressage yeah, no, competition. No, it's not a dressage so. competition. Good girl. Anyway, Jamie, which is quite right. Exactly. Because if we have any run outs or anything, we're just going to retire. Yeah, we don't have to present the second time, do we? My stirrups are gone, actually. Sorry. Standing. Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, good luck, my darling. I'll see you at the start. Let's go. You can do this, Jem Bam. Go. Good luck, girls. That was very close to the start box. Just to allow them to pass through because Millie was also having some problems with elements of... Left the start box and has gone clear of the second. Primitive Ponto to her right. The gelding. She also only by primitive Ponto. A bit close to that, Maggie. Well done, girls. Well done. Hey! Clear! And also, shout out Chillington for providing amazing helpers for washing off. 
Oh God, so happy. She looked amazing. She was so good and I was, I was really nervous and she just kept picking up the slack time and time again. And she was so clever, she wasn't too strong no. because of the heat. So I could afford to just like show jump the hard combinations. Perfect. And she's just so honest. So, so honest. Oh God, it's on my eye. Apparently they're saying I've got six penalties in the show jumping, so we're hoping, hoping that's a mistake. What's it saying on eventing scores? Oh, is that not? That's, that's, not, that's, that's my new one. That's your new one. We're hoping that it's just a little mistake. But yeah, fingers crossed we've ended on our dressage, which not gonna lie guys, I was so nervous about that cross country. I think it's one of the hardest tracks we've done. So I'm absolutely chuffed with her. She's so good, so, so good. Brilliant, thank you. And she's finished really well. Finished inside the time. Wow! Had five seconds inside. She was definitely a bit more tired because of the heat, but she every time I asked yeah, her to go, she just went for me. Yeah, and it was long. It was long as yeah. a championship course. Oh, I'm so chuffed with her. So, so hand. pleased. Thank you. Honey. Yeah. I'm not really meant to be holding. I can hold. Honey's on box rest, guys. Go to her account to find out why she's on box rest. They won't be on there now. It's only on my stories. It's only on my stories, sorry. Rest. I had surgery on Friday, but... Had a little cheeky, but just but a, just a cheeky internal one, you know. Yeah, your major. Doctors just do, be just th three three scissors on my belly. It was just like, kind so. of this sort of third of her that they cut open. So so, mate, <laughs> once an event groom, always an event groom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I think I better help. Jamie, you are a star. Yeah, sorry, Oh, I was so lucky this event because not only did I get loads of amazing footage from wonderful people spectating, but Equiville were also there, which means, guys, we get to watch the entire round together. So you'll know already that we, we gave this a clonk. I don't know if Jam was just, I mean, we did we did hit it quite close um, and it was quite kind of quite small and quite close to the start box. Like mum said, I think she just wasn't really concentrating, but you can see she's got her head in the game by fence two. And then come down to this one with a funny little little dip and the turn. I just didn't want to take it too much for granted. And I did actually have to pop my leg on a little bit there. I'm having to mute the original sounds, guys, but I'm going to post this as a YouTube short with the original sound. I can't post it now because I'll get demonetized. But we're going to play a game of how many times can you apologize to your horse, Meg? And I think this was the, the first time <laughs> because I stupidly added a stride to that double. If I had landed and just let her travel, we'd be fine but nervous Meg took over and I landed and pulled and yeah pulling a little bit there as well as I've just mentioned in that clip when I finished I was pretty nervous about going out over this track because I think it's probably the hardest other than badminton which is obviously very technical I'd say this is one of the hardest tracks that Jamie's seen before um, and probably one of the most technicals I've done. Certainly some of the combinations, that's for sure. So yeah, I was nervous and it was it was definitely full up. So I think I did just go out a little bit, a little bit pulley, but I was quite pleased that I wasn't, I was, yes, I was getting her back for pretty much every fence, which wastes time, but I don't feel like I was being too silly with it and asking her to jump out of nothing. So yeah, is that a fair enough thing to say? Anyway, here is the first kind of real test on course. These were big. I don't know why they don't look that big here, but oh my word, they were so full up. And yeah, I got such a buzz when we got over that. She just made it feel so easy. She is just such a genuine little sweetheart. Ah, now this is the bit that I'm really excited for you to see, the water. So she had a little look. It was very, very dark. Um, it's quite, yeah, just quite lucky for them. And then what a tricky combination to come out over but again so genuine and we get this different angle here this is why i just love equireal so much because you get all the different angles you can literally just sit and analyze your round i'll be honest with you guys this is my fifth time watching this now i'm just obsessed but yeah look whoa look at those knees i don't think she'd really clocked that she was jumping that but she is just such a genuine honest mare that as soon as i opened my hand and was like please mate can we jump this she was just like yep absolutely Nice let up fence there and then we had quite a long gallop so that yeah that one fence was in the middle of a massive massive gallop so we really opened up there and I think it shows like when I have an early gallop see like at Frickley for example and then that fence I jumped way better after a gallop so I think I need to try and open her out again this caused so many problems I was looking at the results on the way back guys 
In both the 100 sections for the qualifier, only half of the people went clear cross country. Absolutely bonkers. So yeah, that was where a lot of issues were happening. But Jamie, again, so honest. Like, she just absolutely tries her heart out. And yeah, she made it feel easy. And I'm not going to lie, I was having a bit of a sleepless like, night over that and the corner combination. Here, I'm just... I'm getting nervous and I'm desperately wanting to go clear and I'm being a little bit overprotective. Um, but again, guys, it is progress. I'm not going to hammer myself for being a little bit pulley. We're getting there one step at a time. Anyway, I'm going to let you have sound for this last bit because it's so cute. Oh, it's so <laughs> what a legend! What's Lazy Rider doing? This is a rarity. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> cool. Yeah. Because she's mum's name. Yeah. I get on the place with country on them all the time, yeah. but she's never been anywhere. Good girl. girl. You did so well, Jamie. Look who's here. Do you like my attire? My little skirt? <laughs> I might pinch that look. I don't think I'm going to. Because obviously yeah. I have to go up high to do anything. My stomach's so swollen. I had to go up. Thanks. Did you hear that? She looked like three months pregnant. That's horrible. I did my very well when Jammy was so good. You went so well. I went very. I show jumped the whole thing, but. I thought you showed you know. fantastic. You're gonna, love, <laughs> you're gonna, sorry, you're gonna love the photos of her show jumping. Oh no, do you know what? I was really pleased for show jumping. I was just I so can't so watch bad. it. I I have to just film and not look. I'm just like, oh. Yeah, I, I feel like that Riley. <laughs> I've got to watch it. You're gonna like. Is this the coach? Is this? Oh, she says I'm so careful. Oh, she says, look how clever I am. She says I'll get my knees out the way for you, mummy. Really? Well done. Mummy, you've put me underneath the fence again. Oh well. No. Everybody gave you. Oh, that's okay. This is harder than it looks. Yeah, really good. Oh, I'm not sure who gave you that, but I'm not sure you're following. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm. I'm so welcome. I have done. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. That is lovely. Say hi, oh. Say hi guys, I'm really cool. Mine because Ray, I couldn't leave Ray that <laughs> Hey guys, that I went nice. double clear. It's fine. Peace out, off the mountain I go. Come on. Ladies and nutritious. Hello. 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 The horse will survive for yeah. another second. <laughs> Do you see her face in? That was terrifying. Hands like <laughs> must <laughs> groom horse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, you were being overreactive. Go and sit in your chair. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to get you a wheelchair and you won't be allowed out of it at all. No, because I'm strapped up. You're not going to behave. Worse, it's bumpy. <laughs> we'll I'm honestly fine. Eating. Why? Because I'm going to be in the time. He's just got a bit naughty with like, not filming it when he eats. Have you eaten yeah, already? Yeah, he ate yesterday without me while I was walking the horse. We haven't eaten today. And then today, no, he has eaten. What did you have today? Bacon back. He went and did it while I was riding. No, I got it after you were riding. In a gap. Oh, am I not qualified to have this? Oh my god, I've never seen a test sheet like that. It's literally every single mark is seven. Consistency. Oh wow. Or they just weren't watching and they just thought, yeah, that would do. <laughs> they thought, God, I've just been watching her vlog quick. Zum, 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 zum. <laughs> just shows guys nice retention, retention. This one said, oh, so this is one of your circles was rubbish. Needs, needs clear release. Oh, it's quite clear. Oh, Obviously not. Oh, what did the other one say? Oh, Amateur. Amateur. <laughs> not more again. Again. Eleven said more. Okay, more self carriage. Very clear or clear give and retake. And the other judge said needs clear release. That's really weird, isn't it? There's different angles. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Angles. But no, to be fair, this one's pretty consistent. This is. Wow, all seven both, other yeah. than the 5.5 for that and then a six for one of my things tempo varying that's fair yeah she was just a little bit um hot today normally she's really nice riding the dress she said not today birthday mate birthday mate yeah who's laughing now eh who's, who's releasing now not me because i was scared cross country i was pulling <laughs> maybe maybe that was her note for cross country so you, um... let go third place jamelia Owned and written by Megan Elphick, finishing on a score of 30.6. The Tezzas Classic, owned and written by Lucy Wollum. So pretty. It matches your, your skin tone. Thank you. Hey! Also, bye bye, my friends. Oh, they're all there.
lovely lovely friends coming to watch and support take photos take videos literally the best ever team behind me and obviously these two legends look at this oh han's got my dress han can i grab my dress or sheet sorry i'll be back i'm hurrying she needs a wee oh no she's bursting right oh jammy this is yours mate absolute legend oh, so happy with her can't believe it i was really nervous that course i think some of those combinations like specifically um number 10 those corners and obviously number 17 a and b like some of the hardest ones i've done like emily said they are definitely novice technicality at full up 100 height like they were big i think the thing is, is when you're doing these championship tracks i think you're allowed them a bit bigger than normal 100 not championship tracks qualifier tracks you know what i mean um so yeah i was absolutely chuffed and i did ride a little bit backwards and a little bit safe but I don't think I was silly with it like I'm hoping when I watch the videos of the number four oh my god where Pete got the slow-mo I added a fourth stride to that when I probably should have just landed and kicked um but yeah I felt a bit off it but yeah other than that I'm pleased with how I rode because I think it was they were sensible decisions and yes we had a stride but we got inside the time and it doesn't really really matter then if we get home like that does it Oh, absolutely chuffed. I'm hoping, I don't want to say for certain, because you never 100% know until you get the email or they like announce it on the website, but hopefully third place is going to get me a qualification for badminton at B100 level, which I've never done before. Um, it's meant to be top 20%, but like things can change. Basically, they like once all the qualifiers are done, they kind of look at how many people they've got and then they do like a final percentage but i'm pretty sure that third is in the top 10 percent because there were 27 starters and they normally round up so yeah fingers crossed right we're gonna go it's pulling loaded up the final eventing outro of 2023 i just got a whiff my armpit do you smell that <laughs> as i lifted my uh, thing that up was yawning, so I probably got a sorry Sorry, it's my vlogging hand. Yeah. <laughs> and also, don't look back there, guys. It's so messy. Anyway, it's a very good end to the season. It's really odd to be ending in September. What is the date? The 10th of September. Ooh, so it's really early. It's to be early September. Um, we never normally finish this early. However, we have accomplished everything we could possibly want to accomplish this season. We're, like I said, very much hoping that this third place will get us a qualification at 100 at Badders. It should do because it's, yeah, normally top 20%, but you, you can never say for certain. So I don't want to say for certain in case I have to eat my hat later. Um, and obviously we've got the 90 qualification. We can guarantee that because I won. Um, so yeah, we can literally, we can pick and choose what we're going to do. I get to spend all winter dwelling and deciding what I want to do. And I'm not going to not gonna be pressured not gonna make a decision until it comes to entering it we're just gonna see how we go how winter goes exactly exactly some jumping yeah yeah it's i'm gonna now. yeah so it's really bad sorry post it down when we get to the nasty end. peter <laughs> nasty peter um no absolutely chuffed with jam that was a big track and very technical like there were just lots of Lots of bits. I was like, oh, I need to not think about that. It's the toughest track you've definitely one of. One yeah, of I mean, obviously, like the badminton ones, even at ninety, are very yeah. big and yeah. very technical. But fair play to Chillington because they made it a proper championship track, and that is what it needs to be if you're going to Badders. Like, you need to, you need to have good cross country horses going there because it is such a step up. Like, it's so different from a normal ninety or hundred. Um, so yeah, it was a really, really nice course. Really enjoyed it. I did wimp out a few places i think pete's got a really nice slow motion <laughs> video of me pulling and adding a stride and jam have it having to like completely save my bacon basically so yeah maybe that would be one combination i would ride differently but other than that i'm really pleased and we rode we rode safe but not like not dangerously safe if that makes sense like i wasn't making silly decisions because i was nervous but i felt like i wasn't taking any risks i was like nope we're gonna 
I can pull if I need to pull. We're going to get nice drives. We're not going to do silly flyers. And yeah, she was amazing. I really am hoping I can get my equi reel from it. I want to see her through the water because that was technical. And I don't think she realised we were jumping the long on the way out. And I just opened my rein and was like, please, please <laughs> jump. And Jam was like, oh, I didn't even realise. And then just took off. Like, she's, oh, she's just so good. I love her. I love her so much. She's so genuine. She's so genuine. She just she helps me out and she always picks up the slack for me. Like she's just amazing, absolutely amazing. And even the, obviously the fall at Victor, like that was her trying to get me out of trouble. Like because she just tries so hard, she just lifts her back leg so high. Like she's just oh, she's amazing. I love her so much. She's the bestest. She's just been amazing she this has. year. I think I'm going to do a little eventing wrap up, but like she's just been so good. Any mistakes we've had have all been down to me. I think she's like. I think she's been placed every event other than Upton. She has three wins. It's mental, like absolutely bonkers for this little bog pony that we got that we were like, Ugh, when she came off the uh, lorry from Ireland. Oh, she's just amazing. Stick with your funny looking ponies, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. come really good. I'm not saying she's funny looking anymore, but when she was three, she, um, she was, she's a duckling, isn't she? She's yeah. really grown into herself now. She's an elegant swan. Thanks, Dream Team, for this season. Right. Hanny, Hanny, unfortunately, isn't here, but but she came. To legend. Support. She did come to support. She's not in the lorry, but yeah, couldn't do it without any of you lovely no. people and my amazing sponsors. So I'm going to try and tag them all down below. I've still got really exciting stuff coming up, so don't unsubscribe. In fact, if, if you could press subscribe, that would really help me, especially as the horse hunt is very much still happening and there is something in the diary for it. So you're gonna wanna stick around. I'm gonna stick around, but uh, yeah. The, the subscriptions do help. It helps with the pennies, guys. So please, it's just a little clicky. No, my interest is not in the horse shop. Oh. Uh, it's in the other sort of shop. Oh, uh, this there's quite a lot of shopping going on. It and might be a, a spenny winter, right? It might be a spenny winter. <laughs> we might be eating baked beans for <laughs> a long time. Um, and I'm also doing something really exciting next week with Winnie that I'm hoping to be able to take you behind the scenes off. Anyway, guys, thank you for sticking with this video and for sticking with me throughout the event season. Cannot freaking wait and here's to badminton next year. Jamie is now gonna go on a break. Um, she's actually going off to London horse show again to do a demo. Crazy. So she's going to have a break, but it's going to be Jam's version of a break because we yeah. can't, we don't want her to like completely lose all of her muscle because she obviously does have her issues. So I am going to be doing my pony walks for about six weeks. I'm not really going to ride her, but I'm going to do long reining, raised poles and lead her out in hand. We so we basically want to keep her core strength up. Keep her we? core, yeah, but l let her feel like she's having a break. And even if she does that two or three times a week, it's enough to keep her yeah. going. Over. So yeah, that's the plan. And then fingers crossed, we keep her sound and happy forever and ever, basically, but certainly until next May. And then yeah, Badders is on the cards. Yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Right, this is a really, really long outro. This new camera is heavy, heavy and I'm about to gas Pete with the pits. Oh dear. Pit gas. <laughs> right, I live up. Love you guys. Bye guys. Bye. See ya. <laughs> he really says, is that my mummy that's come home? <laughs> hey, Woody. Your mummy did it again. He's the bestest. Maybe you're the bestest too. Hey, you've got big shoes to fill. Jump says, yeah. Come on, Winnie, you should be training right now.